Previously on Nifty Bacon, Nif Bake. Hey, you guys don't travel or anything. You're gonna catch something. It's gonna spread. Spread the word. Sirs, guys, hey, I wanted to stop you real quick. We need to stop travel to Los Angeles. What are you talking about? You're ridiculous. You're crazy. Yeah, you're stupid. Um, no, I actually came in this car and uh, time traveled from 2020. And uh, I'm here to vo warn you guys about the virus that's going to spread. We need to close off all travel to Los Angeles and the United States and everything to stop this from spreading here. Man, you, <laughs> this guy's funny. You guys, you, you crack me up, you young kids. <laughs> you have a good day, sir. No, I'm serious. No, you have a good day, sir. Okay. Um, well... Well, that was pointless. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Let's go head to the shop and uh, add this hover conversion to the car. Boy, it's getting kind of late. I need to get back to the shop so we can uh, add this hover conversion to our time machine. And uh, we can fly. I think we got some schematics. And uh, a couple ideas. Me and Cliff can come up with uh, a way to get this to work. It's probably going to take us some time to convert it over to a hover conversion, but definitely be worth it in the end. Now, where is the shop? I always forget which street. Oh, that's right. It's down this one. There it is. All right, well, let's get in here and we'll get this hover conversion going. Oh man, finally got back to the shop. Well, we got a lot of cars in here that we need to sell probably and uh, get some profit going, but I need to go see somebody real quick. So I'm gonna need some help to get this hover conversion added to the DeLorean. Well, hey Cliff, how's it going? Hey sir, how are you? Good. Hey, how about uh, you uh, help me add a hover conversion to our time machine? Time machine? What are you talking about? Oh, well, I actually created a time machine and uh, built it. I think you remember working on it. Of course, you do work on a lot of different things. So you probably don't remember everything we work on, but uh, we did build a time machine. And I'm actually back here... Oh, that's right. This is before you built it. That's why you don't remember it. Who? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, yeah, I completely spaced. I'm not in the same time period. Anyway, I need to help. You need your help to get this hover conversion added to the car. So then uh, we can actually fly it. Oh, well, cool. Let's do it. All right, Cliff. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Cliff's on a smoke break. And, uh... So I'm going to start getting going on the hover conversion on the car here. I'm going to fix her up. Ooh, looks like we're going to need to work on uh, a few things like the exhaust and maybe the frame because it's a little bit worn on this car. So, uh, Probably a good thing we're going to put a cover conversion on it, because then we don't need uh, all this suspension and stuff anymore. So we got to clear this all out, because we're no longer going to need, or at least this type of suspension in it. So we got to add the hover conversion and all that stuff to it, and it's going to be different suspension parts and stuff like that.
so quiet in here. Is that seriously what I would do? I worked on cars without any music in the past? I don't remember this. I don't know. It's going to add this cover conversion. Then maybe we'll time travel to a different time and period or something just for fun. Since we do have a time machine, we can pretty much go wherever we want. Oh, it looks like Cliff got part of the hover conversion that added in the car. This right here is uh, part of the solenoids and uh, battery system, so that way we can uh, get the hover conversion working and, and uh, all that stuff. So we already got that in the car. That's pretty cool. So uh, And the power converter up here as well. So he's gotten quite a bit done on the car already, so that's why he's on a smoke break. And uh, I'm just tearing out the suspension parts that we're no longer really going to need for the car. For the driving portion because I should probably fix up this frame a little bit so it's sturdy. Well, we're going to need suspension parts to be able to drive the car, but it'll also need a different type of suspension that will turn and convert into a hover conversion. So this normal setup for suspension is just not going to work. It's pretty worn out anyway, so it's probably good that we're doing this. it all torn out and now we can actually install the hover conversion and all that stuff in the car and it'll be able to hover and uh, all that stuff but I'm just gonna fix off the suspension parts for other cars that I can work on like in the shop and stuff will be worth it so we can still use these parts I guess just for different cars all right we needed to fix up the frame as well, so let's get that back in there. All right, we need to buy one, I guess, because uh, I didn't manage to fix it up. I'm slacking. I think that was the right one, right? I don't know. I'm like halfway paying attention. Yep. Oh, I knew what I was doing. All right, we'll need to... Like, get these bushings in here just for some stability in the car. Got to have some kind of framework in it. And then from this framework, we can uh, get the hover stuff added to it. We're obviously going to need a steering rack so we can steer the car, so we'll add that in there. Not going to really need tie rods or anything. So that's pretty much our basis for the hover conversion there. So that's a good start. So we got our steering rack. We got our frame. So pretty much all set up for our uh, hover conversion. Although I can put at least the knuckles in here. Now we're gonna obviously gonna need like the wheel bearing to hold the tire and stuff like that. Oh, we need some hubs. I 
and obviously the axles. So we'll just we're just adding these folding axles into it, so it can convert from uh, hover to drive. You know that kind of thing. So. Boy, he's taking a long time in a smoke break. Although, he did get quite a bit done in the car, so I'm not really worried. Or care. Alright, so that is pretty much good to go on that side. Yep, that's good for our hover conversion. As you can see right here, it'll be able to fold up and then fly, and then that's all we really have. So that's going to be all we're going to need for the, the driving portion. Good thing I have all these parts laying around. Was it B? Yeah, it's B. Well, I didn't have parts laying around. These are the ones we fixed up. Yeah. I mean the new ones. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so that's the back ready to go for our hover conversion on our time machine and uh, may as well get to this as well over here and then we can basically just let Cliff get the rest of it done so and I'll take a smoke break yeah just swap it up like he did get the uh, other stuff in the car already so I'm just uh, getting the base set up for him so he's uh, good to go and uh, just add the hover parts and stuff in it. I always forget about the brakes and stuff. Should have more of these just laying around. Oh, we got a customer's car over there we need to work on. I think he was working on the brakes, so he's going to have to finish that up after the hover conversion or maybe I'll jump on that and do that while he's adding the hover conversion to the car or at least the finishing touches to it all right so that's our front end in there so that's good for the hover portion of the car Alright, so that's all of our parts that we need uh, for the driving portion, uh, all the things we need like brakes, vital things, steering, the frame, all that stuff. So those are all new parts. Uh, the back end got the folding axles back here, so it'll be able to fold in and the tires will be able to hover and stuff. And uh, Cliff's just going to add the rest of those uh, hover components to the car because he knows what he's doing with that. and. Uh, I'm going to get back to working on the brakes here, and uh, actually I'm probably going to take a smoke break, and then uh, we'll try out the car when we're done. I'm going to go take a smoke break. Alright, got the hover conversion added to our car, so let's see if it'll work. Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! It's hovering! Wow, look at that! Wow, it works. Look at that. So we can do circles. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, the wings work too. Awesome. Added those for stability. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to how this works. Oh my, wow, this is hard to steer. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. All right, cool. You know what? I wanna check out a different day and time. Maybe like 1970. Yeah, let's go back to the 70s. Let's just see what it's like. 